Hey, what's up, everybody? X Joey One X, May two thousand and twenty-one. Uh, recently, I've had a little situation with my home light string trimmer, weed whacker, and/or whatever you want to call it. This is, um, geez, maybe ten to fifteen years old by now. Home light is a Home Depot brand or the Home Depot brand. It's a curved shaft. Okay, which really hurts your back. Okay, about three weeks ago, it worked fine while I was doing its job outside. The weekend after that, it started bogging down, but I got it to run to finish the job. And then last week, it did not want to start. Okay, the prime bulb is broken, so let's not go after that because that happened after. Okay, so you would put fuel in it, you would prime it, ba 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 ba. You would go down to two, sorry, two. You could pull it without hitting the throttle, okay? And then it would run. Wah, wah. Then you would go to two, you would pull it, it would run for 10 to 15 seconds, and then you were able to use it, and then when you get a chance, you bring it to four, which is probably, you know, whatever. I've never touched this. This is a uh, throttle thing. Um, where you could set the pin so it's always on or something so what we're going to do which we did off camera is Jay let me buy his ultrasonic cleaner I'm gonna bring out my um, Harbor Freight air compressor I got another couple of cans of typical AutoZone carb cleaner now and I did I won't lie to you but what I did do is watch two to three videos in its entirety of home light trimmers not starting and every single one of them unless you're lying have gotten it started by a couple of easy steps okay I'm gonna show you these steps real quick and then I will actually do them okay I'm not gonna mimic the problem just trust me the problem is that it doesn't run okay so the first thing is to make sure that it's just physically there you got your spark plug attached you got your bowl that's not broken letting air in you got your air filter which we could take off which is such a bad design we'll take off off camera and then your fuel is coming in and then I guess whatever is coming out okay so according to all three people they didn't even use this but we'll get to that is you are going to take this off you're going to go remove the bowl. You're going to remove the air cleaner. There's two bolts, which I'll tell you the size later. And you're going to take this carburetor off of the housing. And then you're going to take a small thin wire, a brush or a bristle. I actually had it somewhere. <laughs> I can't find it. Um, I had a paper clip. It's probably wherever. I'll find it. And then you're going to go in and out of all the holes. Then they want you to spray the carb cleaner. Then what I didn't do, which is fine, I will do it, is you take all the ports and you take compressed air and you spit it all out. Okay? Now, and the gaskets. Some people spend $8 to get gaskets. Well, the, I don't think there's anything wrong with my gaskets because there's nothing leaking. So... And then they put it all back together, they put it with, put fuel fully in, they primed it, and it, it, it ran. So I'm going to do one ditch effort. What's in this ultrasonic cleaner is um, dollar store degreaser. It's definitely going to help. So I'm probably going to spray it, take this all off again. I'm probably going to spray it with carb cleaner outside. Then I'm going to put it in and set it for whatever this is, eight minutes. Then when I take it out, I'm going to show you hitting it with compressed air. So, oh, okay, and here's the bulb replacement. What I'm going to do is to kill two birds with one stone. This is also a home light blower that I got from Facebook Marketplace for $20. It ran all last year. It looks like it's almost the exact same carburetor. Now, this bowl primer bowl I had to primer bulb sorry this primer bulb was in the three set well of course this is the only one that fits this home light and that fits that home light and these is this is like eight bucks 
So it comes with smaller ones, but nothing that is for our application. So I can't put a smaller bulb, bowl, on something that doesn't warrant it. it. It's just put what it asks for. So I'm going to clean both of these situations at the same time. And I'm going to bolt them both on at the same time. But I'm going to put the bulb, primer bulb, in the weed whacker first. Because that was actually physically running two weeks ago. Then if it runs, then I'll take that off. And then I'll see, I'll take, and then I'll do that. Another step, which I might be able to do, is you take these lines out. And there is a feeder. Um, you could take that out, if you can, and you blow air through it. It's like porcelain. I'll show you that. Then these lines will be, will be broken free. And just for its, what it's worth, you blow these lines out too. Even though fuel is coming out through this uh, fuel thing and going into the bowl, primer when you push it it's this diaphragms and we're gonna follow all three of these videos that I just watched without purchasing anything and I'll talk during this whole thing okay the first thing what you're gonna want to do is remove the air cleaner on any of these devices again we're working on the home light this is what it looks like two clips Please, move it out of the way. Take the foam piece off. Okay? Second, you're going to want to get your wrench, which I forgot to get. It's a 3 8 socket. Figure out how you want to remove that. Whether it's by hand, or it is by device, or a socket set. Just put it on, loosen a little here. Loosen a little there. See, it's not making any ratchets and noises anymore. Okay, just take it off if you want. Pop it in your hand. I have a uh, magnet holder from Harbor Freight over there. Okay, here it is. Take it off. You do not need that right now. Set it aside. Next is to this two shafts. Very calmly remove it. There it is. Be very careful you don't break it because this is the stop, electronic stop on this machine. This is that's all you need right here. Let, let it hang. Okay. Number one. Number okay. I have rags here. Number two. Depending if you have if you've ever done this. Um, you could have rags because it's fuel is you want to remove the fuel line the best way to do that is to take a, f a Flathead and very carefully Push it until you think it could pull off by itself. There it is. It should be self-explanatory Especially that since after if you have this problem with these home lights these are already in like um, What do you call it positions? M muscle memory, so you, you should never be able to mess that up but you could what I did before the video camera is I found that these were very blown out these were like you know maybe air was getting in it so I took a little bit I took my dikes and I cut about a half inch off to make sure that they were really from like the factory those you could leave alone for right now now the carburetor is going to come out just like that and please remember the orientation of your throttle. This is one, two, three, four, five. These have five little nuts. Excuse me, five holes. Mine is the second to last. Okay. Now, in a perfect world, you just ever, ever so slightly move that out of the way. You can work on the gas tank another time. I'll show you that later. We're working on the carburetor. Okay, so with that being said, there's a couple of pieces here. Here's the bowl, the primer bulb. I don't know why I say bowl. I'm thinking carburetor and underneath it is a bowl. You take a Phillips or a flathead, whichever you want, and you unscrew it. Doesn't matter, unscrew it. There's really nothing here to mess up. Just unscrew it. Make sure you put these away. 
you pick this up a little at a time okay here is the broken primer you don't need this it doesn't need to be cleaned set it away don't break the one that you only have okay this can be cleaned with a rag at a later time okay here's the top half I'll show you that in a second here are two gaskets you can clean these or you could buy a gasket kit what we're going to do is spray them later and we're going to clean them there's two pieces please either watch your video or make sure the orientation goes back the same way we'll put those aside this now what they say just uh, just for shit is you get yourself a little piece of bristle or anything that's thinner this is actually perfect because I realized it actually went set that throttle body aside so you could replace this but you'd have to drill it out and you'd have to purchase a brand new one so you go in and you make sure all these holes are clear like see you can bend it that way see this is clear okay I could bend it another way to show you but it's clear it's coming through that's clear that's clear there's one in here you can't see but it comes through the top that's might be clear I don't know we have to put that in the ionizer then you could do this you could push this down you could bend it so it, it follows the contour of the fuel you could push that in you could twist it in you could bend it a little bit more by hand so it follows this groove but we're gonna blow that blow that all out and the guy says you could take some carb cleaner you could clean it with a toothbrush we're gonna do that before we put that in there so that's that's done okay then here is the throttle body and then here's the lower half this is made by Zama, Z-A-M-A. -A. It's not made by Home Light. So if you ever get the kit, the kit's called Zama. Again, watch the orientation, make a video, make some cameras. This is a diaphragm. I'll show you how it works now that the guy showed me how it works on YouTube. This is one piece or two pieces. This is so this technically still works. See that? Diaphragm in here. Allegedly this is what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to tear. I'll spray it, but I don't see a tear in it. I'll lightly clean it. Then he actually took this thing off. So we'll have to... There we go. We're going to take this off too because there's a little piston in there. This, be careful. This has a spring. And watch the orientation of this. This has a little jet. Actually, I could see through it. I'll clean it. But that's that. So that's that. But there's a little screen here I previously cleaned this off camera two times one with J and one without there's a little screen here I'll take out very careful because it's very so 
So one of the videos, the guy had a clogged screen. He unclogged it, put it back on, and it fixed it. That I didn't like because I also had a clogged screen. And it didn't fix it. He took out a bunch of schmutz. I'll fix this later. There's a screen here that we cleaned. So now, what you want to do is the same thing. Poke and prod. See if stuff starts to come out. Or like all these little holes. See if your, uh, you know, what tool comes out. There's a little seat clamp here. You can take out the whole throttle body. You don't have to do that. This jet's actually completely clear. I can see right through it. That's all I see. Well, I can see there's really nothing much to this thing so uh, off camera I'm going to spray it and then clean it with this thing and then drop it back that into that I want to show you something all these little holes do something so you get your can with the red stuff and I'm not going to do it in here but you put it in here right put it in there push it away from your face and spray it put it in here spray it put it in here and you'll be surprised it comes out of different orientations and you be like you know there's wherever this could fit first of all you spray it down okay and then you hit it with your uh, you know whatever brush but then go go back open up the throttle Open up this. This piece opens up too with your hand. It does this, you know. Just, I hit it with all sorts of stuff. Hit it. Well, you can't hit it with these holes. Ha ha ha. And uh, now we're going to go on to the, this part. And I'm going to hit this part again. Scrub it down. I'm going to hit these holes. Then you hit this hole. And just. I feel bad not showing you, so let me show you. So we're going to take this, and we, this hole and this hole talk to each other. This hole talks to that hole, but this hole doesn't. So you push it this way. Un momento, por favor. So you push it this way, like that. See it? came out see it see it came out and then this jet if you push it won't go this way for some reason but if you push it this way sorry it won't go this way but if you push it this way watch the top another thing to do Jesus Christ is to see if you have enough tube is be careful in pulling this whole thing out so one should just be a regular tube with nothing at the end make sure it's free and then one should be the filter you hear that okay That kind of lets you know, eh, there's really nothing in there. So the next step would be that after everything goes in the ionizer or whatever that's called, is you just take your filter, your, your presser, and just, just, see, you saw that? A little oomph in there. Um, there's a hole here. 
something should come out. I'm so sorry, I'm off camera. Yeah, just enough. Clearing it all out. Again, there's only two holes here. These are for the shaft. So this hole goes out. And then this hole, again, these two are connected. And then these two are connected. So there's no, but this one should go out. You hear that? This is as clear as day, this piece. All right, same thing with this. Pick one hole at a time. Whoa. <sighs> yeah, I felt it on my left hand. These are, these are the shafts. You can open up the throttle body. So there's good, there's only one here. Nothing here, nothing here. And then we'll do these one at a time again. Middle. Middle. That comes out of here. See? What I want to see is this one. That comes out of that jobber. Go backwards. Somebody's got nowhere to go. But if you don't know what you're hitting, hit them all. You could actually see through that pin right here. Well, I mean, I can. There's enough air. Air is free. Do it again. <laughs> 